So, right. so go ahead. One of the things we get asked a lot, Tigo, is what's going on? Why are there so few homes on the market? And, you know, we've answered that on this show many times. And um, for all of you that are, are loyal listeners, you probably could answer this. But I thought it was a good time because he also addressed it yesterday, Mark, from uh, Wells Fargo. And uh, it was interesting because some of the things we've talked about, and there were a few things that perhaps we hadn't really vocalized quite as well as he did yesterday. You know, one of them was, which we've talked about, is the whole pandemic and people that maybe had would have downsized previously because they have empty nests, they have too big of a house now, they they would downsize. Well, during the pandemic, people, instead of going to the gym, they changed one of their former children's bedrooms into a gym, home gym, right? Yep. Another one maybe into a home office, even if they weren't actively working. Some, some of those folks are retired, but they still do a lot of home things and they needed a little bit of separation perhaps because two people rattling around in a house needed needed different places to go sometimes to not always be in each other's space. So. Right. Uh, very interesting, um, some of the things that lead to it. But, you know, we've said for the last two years how home builders are way behind on building, that for 10 years they weren't building like they were previous to the original uh, housing drop in 2008, and they got way behind, and we need all those units. And they're going, where are all the people living that um, we can't find homes for right now. Well, some are in properties that they've been in, but they really want to get into a different property. But he basically said a lot of people are living with family and friends just trying to find a home. So we know that supply is very limited. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting because, okay, I'm going to say something that, you know, you shouldn't say that 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 you're in this, in this business, but I'm going to say it anyway. Th this whole idea now that we're going to be at 4%, maybe, you know, more than 4% mortgage interest rates, right? Which is high, right? Which is, you know, us, us older folks, we're going, yeah, that's funny. 4% is high mortgage rates. Um, that may slow down the housing market a little bit. That, that there's, there's absolutely no doubt that some home buyers will just not be able to qualify. Okay. That, that, that we know for sure. The question is how many and... Uh, the, the, the people that have the choice to buy or not to buy, they can qualify just fine at 4% or 4 or or whatever it is, make the payment and, and be fine. Are they going to opt out of not buying? So the, there's a real uh, conversation going in the housing economics world is like, okay, if the, these interest rates slow down the market, is it going to slow it down enough to slow down this just really unprecedented price appreciation, right? We're not talking about home prices going backwards. We're just talking about not going up at double digit percentage per year, which is which is not healthy, right? And that's really what what I was getting at is or what I was gonna say is we kind of do need the market to slow down a little bit. Right. So we in New Mexico, and this was also a part of yesterday. So let's talk about it. Right now in New Mexico, we are still one of the most affordable places in the Sun Belt in the Southwest yep. for people to be home buyers. Yep. So right now they're saying, Tigo, I mean the headline right now on this segment is right now is a could be a once in a lifetime opportunity for selling. 